and welcome to the webinar. Uh, we are here together uh, once again. My name is John. I work for the Christian Outreach Office of Francis University. I want to welcome everyone to uh, kind of uh, this overview of where we're going with conferences this season. We've got uh, a lot of great things involved. I wanted to talk about um, a few things with you. Um, we're going to talk about the themes for the conferences, uh, where we're going, um, uh, some of the key speakers that we have going on, and then I want to talk about share our mission a little bit. Uh, I know everyone's kind of busy. I want to thank you for get, uh, coming out tonight and being a part of this, and uh, I'll try to keep us on point and uh, wrap this up in, 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 in no hurry, but not, not make a drag out. How's that? So uh, like we should with everything, let's, uh, let's begin with prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your grace uh, that works in our hearts, your grace that comforts us, that strengthens us, that nourishes us, that perfects us, that calls us forth out of darkness and into your light, that draws us into your heart of love. And Jesus, we just ask you to bless this webinar. We thank you for uh, the gift of the conferences, uh, the gift they are at Franciscan University, the gift that they've been for so many people for over 40 years. And we pray for everyone who is going to be a part of conferences this summer, that you would bless them, Lord, and that even now, uh, your Holy Spirit would fall upon them, and strengthen their hearts, strengthen their minds, strengthen their bodies to serve you, to know you, to love you, and to give themselves completely to you to trust. And Jesus, uh, we thank you for the gift of your mother that you gave us from the cross. And Mary, we turn to you as always, as our great protector, as our role model, the perfect disciple, and as the star of the new evangelization, we ask that you guide us, that your loving protection would keep us close to the heart of Jesus and free from uh, the attacks uh, of the enemy. Just continue to pray for us and watch over us as we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. Well, um, basically, if you've never been on a webinar, this is how it works. On one side of your screen, that's on this side for me, but it might be flip flop for you, uh, you're going to have what's called the Go To Webinar Control Panel. And partway down there, you're going to see a little arrow that points to the word questions. If you click on that, it's going to open a box that you're able to type questions in at any time during the, to the webinar. And I invite you to do that. Um, uh, why don't we test that out together? Uh, if you'd be willing to type in uh, your name, where you're from, and uh, even maybe what conference you are going to come to or you're considering to, and I can kind of get a feel for who's on this call with me. So I'm going to give you a few seconds. Just go ahead and type in that information box, and you're going to hit enter. It'll pop up on my screen. And if you have any questions right now that you know you're going to want to ask, um, you know, go ahead and uh, type them in. I'll get to them eventually. All right, we got people from Pennsylvania and Vermont on. It's Roger and Teresa. Thank you for uh, for typing in. Um, yeah, it's, it's always great to have people. Jan, uh, Jan, coming back uh, uh, to ABS. Good to see you on tonight with us. Thank you uh, for your support, ongoing support. Um, okay, uh, Tim from Cleveland. Welcome. Sorry uh, about last night. I watched the game to the bitter end, and it was uh, it was tough to swallow. Uh, but man, what a run! Uh, I guess one championship in a year is enough for you guys. Betty from Canton. I am a, a native of Michigan. I grew up in the UP, so uh, anytime I get someone from Michigan on a, on a webinar, that's a good thing. Um, Maureen from uh, Maryland. Thank you for being a part of the, the, the webinar tonight. All right, so, uh, you know, oh, Mary from New Buffalo, Michigan. All right, bringing youth to a conference. Awesome. Uh, thank you for that. I mean, it's not an easy thing putting together a group of teens and bringing them to a student book conference. So thank you for doing that. Um, okay, so, you know, I wanted to uh, just um, go through things. And, and, and everything I'm going to share with you uh, can be found on our website. But I'll, I hopefully I'll add a few things that will help you uh, to really uh, understand, you know, number one, how do we come up with these themes? Well, what are we going to, what are we going to be talking about on a little bit deeper level? And then um, we are going to move very quickly after that into uh, the uh, the talk about share our mission because I think that's probably the most exciting part, and hopefully a, a big reason why some of you are on the call tonight. Um, you know, the 
a couple of, you know, okay, the first conference that we have every summer is called Power and Purpose. And it was formerly known as the Catholic Charismatic Conference. We changed the name a few years ago uh, because we really felt like um, the word charismatic carried a lot of baggage from people who had bad experiences in the 70s. And yet we still wanted a way to be able to speak to people about who the Holy Spirit is and the power he brings to our lives. Um, last year, uh, you know, actually for the last couple of years, I've been a part of this conference doing the Life and the Spirit track, which is just introducing people into a deeper experience with the Holy Spirit, uh, you know, activating the gifts and uh, you know, the, the fruit of the Holy Spirit in their own lives. Um, this year, the uh, theme of it is uh, Abide and Arise. So we're going to be talking on the first half of how we want the Spirit to abide in our lives in an ongoing way. Uh, you know, for me, the, the Holy Spirit's the game changer, the one that gives us the power to live for Christ, to follow his commands, to be disciples of Jesus Christ. And then uh, the second half of the conference is going to focus on the Arise message, which is with this Spirit, we're supposed to go forth with the power of God to proclaim Jesus and to bring Christ, the saving knowledge of Christ to the world. And uh, it really is empowering disciples to be great evangelists, great leaders in their parish. We have a great line of speakers. One of my favorite speakers who was there last year and coming back this year is uh, Father Matt Williams. I think he, he is phenomenal. He gave a talk on fasting last summer that was just, it rocked my world and, and re-energized my, uh, my passion and desire to fast. And I've uh, just seen amazing things happen in my life because of that. Um, the conference host is a great guy. His name's Dave Van Bickle. Dave does so much great ministry in the city of Pittsburgh. He, I've known him since he was in junior high, uh, and now he has become this awesome dynamite man of God. He will be able to lead us uh, through this weekend in such a beautiful way. And then, of course, uh, we also have Deacon Larry Oni. If you haven't ever heard of Deacon Larry, he is a powerful preacher. And then Sister Ann Shields, in my opinion, I wish she was my grandmother. She's just the sweetest, gentlest holiest, one of the holiest women I've had the, the, the pleasure of interacting with. And, um, you know, so if you're interested in learning more about the Holy Spirit and how these can be activated in your life for uh, serving the mission of the church, I would really want to encourage you to check out uh, Power and Purpose. You know, um, the next one, and probably won't involve too many of you, is a priest, deacons, and seminarians retreat. And, um, I, you know, I was able to do a Life in the Spirit track at this conference last year, and I'm doing it again this year, and I have to say that it was one of the most humbling, beautiful experiences I had because I was working with men who had been ordained to serve the Lord, some of them for many, many years, some of them for decades, who, who in their response, in their feedback, said, I came to this retreat feeling burned out and unsure of what God was doing in me and through me, but now I have a renewed zeal for my ministry. And, uh, you know, what God is doing in the lives of priests who come to that retreat is nothing short of, you know, rest, restorative and miraculous, you know, just bringing men back to the heart of their vocation, back to the heart of why they became priests. And we have tracks for deacons and seminarians that do the same thing, that seminarians would try to do things that, you know, we have uh, guys who, who are priests and deacons come in and lead these sessions for them so they can guide them into what it means to be a, a well-rounded holy priest or a holy deacon help these seminarians in their formation and, pre and prepping them for their ordination. The other thing I'll say to you, on, you to those of you who are on the, uh, the webinar with me is if you have the opportunity to uh, gift a trip to this retreat to a priest that you love, it will be uh, one of the best things that you can do for them. And that's how a lot of priests get here because many of them don't have uh, the budget to, uh, to come to something like this. And, uh, and uh, we want to be able to uh, serve as many as possible. So prayerfully consider whether or not you can sponsor your priest to be a part of our priest in the seminary retreat. All right. Um, the next uh, conference that I'll talk about real briefly is uh, St. John Bosco. Uh, the, uh, that's our, our conference for uh, catechists and religious educators. And we have youth minister track. We have the DRE track. We have the Catholic school teacher track. If you leave RCIA, we have uh, an RCIA track for RCIA leaders. What it is is throughout the day, there's these different workshops, tracks where you get certification and continue in education credits. And then at night, we have prayer and browse and keynotes that are really there just to inspire. But probably the greatest gift of the, of the Bosco Conference is the fellowship that we've had with hundreds of other catechists and those who are committed to passing on faith to the next generation. Um, you know, and, and just being able to, 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 to share time of fellowship and, and, and prayer 
And it builds up on the fact that you're not the only person out there that really has a passion for this. There's so many great people that come to that conference. I'm always inspired by the young ministers that are being called up in our church and, and just edified by the wisdom of those who've been doing it for so many years. And it's a great experience if you, if, if you are involved in the passing on of faith and you want a, a, a retreat, a, an experience for yourself. Um, yeah, you will love it. You will love it. Um, the theme this year is Jesus, our hope. And we're really focusing on the, time, you know, the fact that we are living in tough times. It is getting harder and harder to um, uh, get people interested in hearing the gospel. I don't think the gospel has lost its power. I would never say anything as ridiculous as that. But I think sometimes in our effort to, uh, to bring the gospel, we can rely on a lot of different things to try to make it happen. But really, at the heart of what being a catechist is, is, is being a disciple and knowing that Christ is our hope. He's the one that gives us strength. And it is going to be, once again, a, an amazing uh, four days of prayer, instruction, fellowship, and just being built up in the ministry that God has called you to participate in. And um, you know, one of our participants on here, Teresa, mentioned that she said it's a fantastic conference. Uh, and you are forming me for mayors, touch the lives of many, many going forth. And, yeah, and that's the vision. You know, we touch one person at the Boston Conference, and the effect of that experience touches dozens of people across hundreds of parishes. And it's such a blessing to know that we're able to serve the church in that way. Um, great. Well, the next uh, the, the next uh, conference is the uh, Applied Biblical Studies Conference, and I love Scripture, um, and I wish I was a theological genius. So I love to go to these conferences because I hear people who really are theologically, not just geniuses, but holy geniuses. But it's not an arrogant presentation of the faith or, or just high-minded. It's really heartfelt, passionate preaching of Christ as revealed in the scriptures. And uh, you know, what, part, of, part of what you know, the, the call of new evangelization is, is to embrace the, the gospel and the scriptures in a new way. And that's what it really is all about, helping the scriptures come alive for everyday Catholics so that they can go back and help other people fall in love with scripture. You know, St. Jerome said, ignorance of scripture is ignorance of Christ. And so we are committed to helping people get the most out of their ongoing formation through the use of scripture and prayer and study and reflection. And, uh, and you'll just hear some of the best preaching in the biblical-based teaching at this conference. And you can even go to some uh, nights of, uh, of a presentation where you'll hear, you know, you could hear Scott Hunt speak, but imagine going to a uh, uh, a conference where you can hear. Uh, we have um, Scott Vaughn, of course, he's uh, one of the hosts and one of the keynote speakers. We have Archbishop Copley from Oklahoma City, who's just an awesome man of God. We've got Gary Anderson from Albion College, and he's going to be speaking. Um, uh, Dr. Uh, Michael Barber, Dr. John Barsman, who's also uh, one of the professors here at Franciscan, who I studied. I took two classes with him when I was uh, a student here and absolutely loved it. Uh, Jeff Cavins, and everyone knows uh, of his journey through Scripture and, and journey through the Bible that he has done. Amazing work making Scripture come alive for so many. Uh, Scott Hans, Kim, my wife Kimberly, is uh, going to be a part of that conference as well. And uh, Kimberly was just elected to the uh, City Council of Beard Student Bill, so she's got a lot on her plate, but she's still taking time out to, to serve and be a part of that conference. And then Matt Leonard, who works for the uh, St. Paul Center uh, for Biblical Studies, just an awesome man of God. He and uh, his daughter and mine are uh, on soccer team together. And, uh, so got to hang out with him a lot, just as, as dads, but as a scripture author and someone who can preach. Matt, Matthew's amazing. And then uh, Curtis Metch, who's a, 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 just done a great work through the St. Paul Center as well. This is an all-star lineup, and really for uh, for what you get when you get here, it, it, you won't find a better lineup at one conference. So uh, the theme this year for uh, the conference is uh, the book of Acts, how the Holy Spirit led, leads the church through hard times. And, you know, it's, it's tough out there, and it's not going to get any easier for Catholics. Uh, you know, there's, there's no hope coming from Washington in terms of preserving our faith in this culture that has rejected Christ in so many ways. And so they're going to really dive into the book of Acts and say, how did the Holy Spirit, even in the worst of times in the early church, when there was so much persecution on them, how did the Holy Spirit preserve the church and keep it holy and keep it courageous and keep it strong? So if you're in a place in your own life, you're like, I've got to you know, do better. I want to work harder. This would be a great conference uh, for you to come and learn more about who the Holy Spirit is and what he wants to do to strengthen you in the walk and, and keep you uh, grounded and, and rooted in Christ. Um, 
And finally, that brings us to our Defending the Faith Conference. The Defending the Faith Conference is uh, by far the largest conference we have. And once again, uh, for what you're going to get when you get here in terms of the team, you will not find a more engaging group of people. Now, the Defending the Faith Conference always is headlined by uh, uh, Dr. Scott Hahn, who is just an amazing man of God, an amazing teacher. But he's going to be brought uh, to, uh, with, uh, with a CFR named Father Andrew Apostoli. Many of you may have seen him on EW10. Our Father Andrew is just an amazing holy man, but so wise. Uh, Jeff, will, Jeff Cavins will also be aware a part of that conference as well. That's Kimberly really Hahn. And we're bringing in Mark Hart uh, to, uh, to do some uh, preaching for us and teaching on some uh, stuff that I think will be very highly engaging. Mark has a unique perspective through all of his years working with Light Team. And it's just an excellent person to, uh, to, to, to get with when you want to learn how to defend the faith because he has preached to different ages, different groups across the country, across the world. And he, he's a great addition. Patrick Madrid is also part of this. Curtis Martin, who is the president and founder of Focus, the Fellowship of Catholic University Students, he's going to be here as well. And uh, uh, finally, uh, Dr. Ted Suri is also going to be uh, on there. He, uh, it's, he works with Focus, and he also works, uh, he also is on EW10 a lot. I can just tell you that, um, you know, this, this conference is going to be great. Uh, the, 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 the theme for the 2017 um, com, uh, Defending Faith Conference is always reforming authentic renewal and ongoing conversion. This, this ongoing conversion is a charism of the TORs, and it's something that I think sometimes gets lost in our pursuit of God is that we're called to be in this ongoing process of being transformed. And so all the talks and breakout sessions are going to be talking about how can we as Catholics continue this process of ongoing conversion. And of course, within it will be great uh, teaching on topics to help us defend the faith. But you know, it, it, it has that dual purpose of renewing us internally so that we can become the defenders of faith and then it gives you the tools to go actually go out and do that. So this is going to be another great conference. Um, and that's our five conference lineup. And as always, Bob Rice will be leading the worship at our conferences. Um, and we want to invite you to become a, a part of one. Uh, you'll have a great time. Um, the things that we see consistently in our feedback, and if you've been here, you probably already heard all this, is that people love the fellowship. They love the worship. They love the mass, the celebration of the sacraments. It was such a, a faith-filled uh, group. Um, and, it's, and it's going to be awesome. So I want to uh, personally invite you to be a part of uh, some of these conferences. Um, yeah, okay. Marjean Rivera, she asked, is Sister Ann she was going to be at the Power and Purpose Conference? Um, she is, and she actually is on the website now. So I don't know when you checked out the website last, Marjean, but uh, Sister Ann is, going to, is up on the website. She will be a part of the, uh, the conference this summer. It's exciting stuff. So... <clears throat> Which brings me to the next thing. Um, a few years ago, in our surveys, we started asking people the question, how did you hear about our conference? And you know what the number one answer was? How did people hear about a student conference? They heard about it from a friend. People were going out from the conference who had this great life-changing experience or had a deep deepening of their faith at a student book conference, and would go to somebody and say, I think you uh, would benefit greatly. Would you like to come with me? And we thought, wow, that's amazing that people are willing to do that for us. And then we thought, well, if they're willing to do that for us, what are we willing to do for that? Because, you know, you guys have become our champions. You've become our sales force. You've become our greatest advocates. And we are in debt to everyone who has ever taken the time to invite somebody. And so in order to, uh, to really kind of say thank you, we created what we call Share Our Mission. Share Our Mission, simply put, is a way that you can help us uh, achieve our mission, which is to go rebuild the church. Now, our office, as an extension of Francis University, has the mission that St. Francis had. You know, St. Francis uh, saw, you know, was, he heard these words from, uh, from Christ at, from the crucifix at, uh, in Assisi at the Church of San Damiano. And Christ spoke to him, and he said, go rebuild my church, which is falling apart among you. Uh, and that is what led to uh, Francis beginning the, the Third Order Regular and his evangelistic work and all the work that he did to renew the church. And he did do a great job renewing the church at a time when it needed renewal. And I think in the same way, God is raising up people like you to help us in that process by asking someone to come and be a part of the student conference. 
you know, what we have found is that, um, you know, people are, are doing this and it, it's amazing. And, and one of the people that's on here, Marjean, we're going to do another webinar. Marjean, I'm going to be calling you. I, I, I wanted to get you on with this one, but I was out of town so much I couldn't set it up. Um, you know, we're, we're going to get Marjean. She brought a group of 50 people up from Virginia with her last year and, and, and you know, it's renewed her parish and just transformed the area where she's living. And I'll let her talk more about that and we'll feature that in an upcoming webinar um, for all of you to, to come back and hear from her. Um, anyway, the Share Our Mission Program. There's three ways that you can participate in the Share Our Mission Program. The first and simplest way is to, be a, to bring a friend. So all you have to do is if you're coming and you know somebody who would benefit, could be your spouse, could be a friend from work, could be somebody from the parish, you go to that person and you would say, hey, do you want to come to Stuber with me? I'm going to come to this conference. And if they say, well, why would I want to do that? Well, guess what? Up on our website next week, you're going to find our share our mission page with resources to explain to people why they should come to Steubenville. But most of the thing that convinces them is just you saying, because I came and it was an amazing experience and I think you would really benefit. Most people... In the faith journey will not, you know, like if I if I get up and, and do a commercial for the conference and say, hey, come to the conferences, they're, they're awesome, they're great. People are gonna look at me and say, Yeah, you're you're supposed to say that, John. You market the student of conferences. But if you have somebody who they know and trust says, I went to this, it was amazing, they're gonna respond to you. They're gonna not, they're not gonna respond to me. And that's why your willingness to invite somebody is so key to our continuing uh, to, to bring as many people into a deeper relationship. Christ. Now, what will happen is when you go to register and you sign up, you'll be able to say, yes, I'm participating in Share a Mission and I'm going to invite this person. And then when that person registers, all right, you will both receive a $20 uh, discount on your cost of registration. That's just a small way of saying thank you. You know, the $20 is, is it's not a ton of money, but $20 nowadays is $20. And, $20 off your conference for you and your friends. So that's a total of a $40 gift. And the nice thing is, is if you sign up and, and participate in share our mission and uh, do uh, register for a conference between April, before April 7th, you will not only get the share our mission discount uh, rebate, you'll also get um, the early bird discount, which is another uh, $20. So you can save $40 off the cost of your conference by registering early and bringing somebody along. But that's not all. Uh, because of the, of the goodness of your heart, we wanted to do more this year than we've ever done before. So we've added some really unique features. First off, um, we are going to have a monthly newsletter that we're going to send to everyone who's involved with Share Our Mission. And in it, you will find tips on how to evangelize, some blogs from some of our speakers, some exclusive content that's only going to be sent to you guys to help, to help you who have uh, decided to be part of our mission grow in your faith. And so you'll get the monthly Share Our uh, Mission newsletter. And in that newsletter, we're going to highlight all the people who are participating in the program so that we can lift one another up in prayer. We're also going to put the names of everyone participating in Share Our Mission on our website as well so we can lift them up in prayer. And we really want to, you to know that, that this group of people who have uh, decided to join us, Share Our Mission by inviting somebody, you're special to us. And we will also be lifting you up. We do like a Mass and a Holy Hour every week as an office. And we'll be lifting you up during our prayer time uh, as you continue to uh, build your groups and bring bring your friends. Um, <clears throat> the second level of getting involved in Share Mission is what we call ambassador level. Now, the only difference between an ambassador and bring a friend is bring a friend is kind of low commitment. You only have to find one person. You bring them. You get twenty dollars. They get twenty dollars. You all get enrolled in the, the newsletter. Um, you know, great things will happen if you want to become an ambassador. What will happen is we ask that ambassadors bring groups of 10 or more. Now, the thing that makes bring, our, bring a friend different from ambassador, in order to get the $20 discount on bring a friend, the person has to be new to a student book conference. So you can't bring somebody who's come before. We want new participants. So if you and a buddy come every year, you're not eligible for share our mission because our mission is to reach new people. But if you wanted to start an ambassador group, which like Marjean did down in Virginia, for every person that you bring as part of your group, suppose you have a group of 10 and you have four new people who've never been to Steubenville and you've got six, new, six people who've been before, we will give you, um, for organizing the group, 
for for the four that are new, we'll give you the twenty dollar discount. And for the four that or for the six that might be coming back, we'll give you an additional ten dollars per person. So we want to reward you, even if you're getting somebody who has already come on their own, but you're going to organize them, get them together as a group, and you know bring a group from your parish. And and what we've heard back from the from the different people who've done the ambassador group have brought ten people. But this little group that we bring becomes the nucleus of something uh, that leads to ongoing conversion and renewal for everyone who's involved. And it grows uh, over the years to the point where, you know, like someone like Margie bringing 50 people. I mean, I'm, I'm blown away by that, that love and that commitment and that service that she, that she did and continues to do, as well as Jan, who brought up a busload for the Applied Biblical Studies from, from, from Nashville. I mean, like, wow, I mean, thank you. Thank you so much for your commitment and support of our outreach. And we want to continue to reward you. Uh, another uh, new part that we're going to do this year for people who participate is every week, okay, starting the week after Thanksgiving, everyone who's enrolled, and you have to register online, and your friend has to register online. But once you're registered and you're good to go and you've got your place at the conference and your friend's registered and they've got their place in the conference, not only will you get your discounts, not only will you start receiving your newsletter, not only will you be invited to exclusive webinars um, that aren't just pitches for a share of mission, it'll be good content from some of our speakers. Um, we are going to draw a five, five books a week uh, out of everyone who's registered as part of it. So we're going to get a collection of books, maybe a book by Scott Hahn, it could be a book by Sister Ann Shields, it could be a book by Father Dave Pavanka, or any one of our other conference speakers. We have tons of them, we have tons of access to these great books. We're going to give away five books a week, and what we're going to do, is everyone who's registered, your name's going to go in a bucket, and when we pull you out, you win, and we'll mail you the book. It'll just show up at your door, and you're going, wow, what? I want to be cool. And when we do, when we uh, put our website together, we'll, we'll be listing the weekly work winners on there as well. Um, and that's just our way of keeping it exciting. You know, like, and it also means, though, that the sooner you register, the more opportunities you have to win. So if you register in week one, you'll have a chance to win every week between now and May, you know, between uh, the end of November and May. And that's about 30 weeks. It gives you lots of opportunities to win books. Um, we hope everyone who participates uh, registers as early as possible so they can have as many opportunities to win as possible. Um, great. And then uh, we're also, what we're going to do this year is everyone who participates at, in, in Share Our Mission, what we're going to do is we're going to take five sets of every talk given at every conference this summer. And we're going to send out sets of CDs to five lucky people that will be drawn at random from everyone who's participated. So, you know, normally that's, I think, sells for, you know, over $100 if you want to buy the whole summer series. Uh, it's kind of pricey, but we're going to get take five copies of every talk at every conference on CD and send them to uh, five lucky winners. And finally, if that wasn't enough, finally, everyone who enters uh, for, uh, into or participates in Share Our Mission or bring a friend and, or bring, be an ambassador, who registers themselves and a friend will be entered into a drawing for a free registration for 20, 2018. And we're going to give away five of those, one for each conference. So if you come to Power and Purpose and you're part of Share Our Mission, everyone who goes to Power and Purpose will be put into a drawing, and one lucky person will get a free registration for 2018. And we're going to do that for the Priest Deacons and Seminarians Retreat, we're going to do that for St. John Bosco Conference, we're going to do that for Applied Medical Studies and Defending Faith. So it's just a lot of excitement, a lot of fun. We want you to know that um, you know we uh, we want you to be satisfied. We want you to, to know that we care about you. We want you know we want to give you a chance to win a lot of cool stuff and and take good care of you along the way. Also, uh, you know we'll, we'll be doing shout outs at the conference for different people, and uh, you know we'll probably make a band with everyone who's a part of our share mission program. Um, and put it up at the um, at the conference as well because we just want to recognize and say thank you, thank you, thank you. Those who support us, those who are willing to go out of themselves to invite somebody. Um, and the last way that you can get involved, and this is kind of like the, a low key way, and, we, and, and when you get involved in uh, bring a friend or share a mission, you can also become what we call promoters. Promoters would be people who would be willing to go and work with their pastor to get an ad for a student book conference in their parish bulletin to make an announcement. Or if you wanted to uh, request flyers or download flyers from our website and put them up in your um, in, in the back of your church and 
maybe put your name as a contact person as representing us. If anyone from your parish had a question about student conference, they could call you and, and you, you could just help people know who we are better and uh, you know, just help get the word out because it's hard to, it's hard to, to reach people who are interested in coming to conferences. They're, they're hard to find, but you who are on the ground, you are engaged in your parishes, you're the best resource out there for, uh, for making it happen. We, like I said, we really appreciate all your past effort and look forward to serving you as we move forward with share our mission. So we got some really cool stuff. We're going to, like I said, we're also going to do a, a monthly exclusive webinar. And what I'm going to ask is, for those people who are on the, the webinar tonight, if you have a particular topic that you think would make a good webinar that you'd like to see us do between now and um, May, go ahead and uh, type that in now and send it to me. We'd love, I'd love to be able to make sure that we're, we're speaking to you and, and, and uh, um, you know, that, you, that you're, you're happy with what you see. All right, so we have a question. The person has been to Power and Purpose and is coming to a five-year studies for the first time. Are they considered new or returning? Uh, that's a really good question. I think that would fall into the returning. You know, we have a lot of people that go back and forth between conferences. So, uh, that would, yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're talking if they've never experienced any studio conference before. They, they, you know, that's, that's what we would consider a new person. But, you know, I'm willing to talk with you about it, Gina. Who knows? We might have to make, make a deal here. So just let me know. Um, and uh, so, so at this point, I, I don't really have any more new information to, uh, to, to, to hand out or to, to pass on to you. All this information, including the Share Our Mission Toolkit, which are just resources to help you, uh, if you need them, uh, sell the conferences to other people and help them become more informed. There's videos of different things there that will that, that you'll uh, be able to have access to, and that's going up soon. Uh, you know, and all the information about the conferences are going to be on the website. Um, in case you don't know, registration is opening up this Monday, November seventh. Uh, you know, welcome you to, to register as soon as you as you can. And like I said, as soon as you register and your friend registers, you're going to be entered into start winning books. And then that first ride, if there's only five people who registered, then those five people will win books. So you know, it's, it's, uh, little incentive to get moving and uh, would appreciate uh, you know, your ongoing support in this. If there's anything along the way, right, you know, that you have any questions about share of mission, you, you know, I sit in this office, uh, I travel a lot, but when I'm not traveling, um, even when I'm traveling, I have access to email, I'll be glad to answer any questions you have. Um, I think when you receive your uh, confirmation for uh, this webinar, it had my uh, has to organize my email embedded in it. It's at franciscan.edu. You can feel free to, uh, you know, to uh, send me any emails. Um, you can also call our office through the number on our website. Get a hold of me. I'm here to serve you as you serve us. I really do appreciate all that you've done in the past, every one of you, and, and look forward to serving you this year. Um, I got it. Tim wants a, 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 a a webinar on apologetic. Yeah, we'll do one. I'll get you, I'll let you know when that's coming, Tim. Thanks. Um, what about a, fun, oh, a friendly competition between those in charge of groups? Who brings the most? Hmm. Well, let's talk about that. I think, you know, but, you know we can have a little, as long as it's healthy and friendly, because you know, sometimes even friendly competition can get out of hand. But if it's awfully, off of the glory of God, I don't mind a little competition. Um, maybe we will do a, a, something special for the group that brings the most. Uh, let me think about that. I think that's a good idea. Um, are you are you ready to throw down the gauntlet, Margie? Let me know uh, what you're thinking there. <laughs> um, yeah, so what else? Are there any questions that you guys have tonight or any other topics that you'd like to see in uh, uh, webinars uh, for those people who are involved in share our mission? Are there any anything that I shared that wasn't clear? Because I know I've been up since five this morning, and I, I don't know if I'm at my best right now. So if I see my I'm bouncing around the ground, I apologize. But um, are there any other uh, questions, comments, concerns? Going once, going twice. Well, once again, uh, my name is John. You can feel free to reach out to me anytime through our website or through phone, through email, 
I'm here to serve you. Thank you for being a part of this webinar. Thank you for your ongoing support and um, having a list of everyone who's registered. I'll be praying for each one of you by name uh, tomorrow uh, uh, during my prayer time. And I want to thank you uh, once again. Uh, may God bless you abundantly as you serve him. May you find joy in that service. May God uh, keep his hand in his, your, in, upon your heart that it would be protected against the attacks of the enemy. And may our blessed mother continue to wrap her mantle of protection and love around, uh, love around each one of you. Um, let, us, let us close in prayer. In the name of the Father, my Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Lord God, through baptism, you have called us all to be mission, missionary-minded and to serve the mission of making disciples of all nations. We ask, Lord, that you would give us the grace to fulfill the mission that you've given each one of us. The call out is ours through baptism. Strengthen us to know your will. Enlighten the path that you've called us to walk down. And help us to, to serve you and love you and to serve you out of love to the fullest possible extent. God bless everyone that has been on this webinar with us tonight. Watch over and keep us safe as we go forward to protect us, guide us, and wrap us in your love. Jesus, we thank you for dying on the cross for us. We thank you for your never-ending love and grace. Be with us and uh, lead us, guide us. Holy Spirit, set our hearts on fire for a deep passion for God, a deep passion for one another, and a deep passion for the mission of reaching people with the gospel. And we ask this all in your name, Jesus. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. God bless all of you. Hope to see you all at a conference this summer. Take care.